Welcome to Jean and Mike do the New York Times crossword. Hi, I'm Jean. And I'm Mike. And today we're doing the crossword for Tuesday, May 14th, 2024. Wow, May is almost half over. I am amazed. Amazed. Did you do the crossword? I did. I am not amazed by that. But still, well done. How did you, you. What do you think? I liked it. Good. It was a pretty typical Tuesday. Mm-hmm. I did it more quickly than I did Mondays. M uh, moi aussi. Me as well. Uh -huh. I did it in about eight minutes. Yes, I did it in 8.43. Ooh, actually, okay, so now we have to get down to the exact second yes, here. Yes, you do. And I did it in, let's see, that was spelling B. We can't count that. I did it in, I have to keep clicking through all these screens to get to the answer. One more click. Oh, wait, I may have, you know what? I think I hid the timer. Because on Sunday, I was so depressed by how long it was taking. There we go. 8.51. Oh, I beat you by eight seconds. Ah, drat. <laughs> What's your secret? Well, uh, the theme was relatively easy today. Mm -hmm. Very, yeah. very um, out there. Just not too hard to distinguish. Right. So, Did it help you at all in solving the crossword? Oh, okay. <laughs> what about you? I didn't even notice there was a theme until after the fact. Uh, yes, well, that was kind of the way it was for me, too. But there were four theme clues, and it was unique because they were running vertically. They were long answers running vertically. Mm -hmm. And the first one was two down, which was supports from the stands, which was roots four. And then the second one was um, uh, nine down. Let's be, and that was a leaves alone. And that was let's without an apostrophe, just need yes. to point that out. And 24 down was neckwear for noisy dogs, which was a bark collars. Mm -hmm. I don't know what those are. And 21 down traveling fashion sale featuring the work of a specific designer, which was trunk show. Uh, and then the revealer also running vertically. Uh, was 38 down, common spots for eagle's nests, or a hint to all the theme two clues, and that was treetops. And if you go back to the theme clues, the top part of the answer is a part of a tree. Roots for bark collars, trunk show, leaves alone. Yep. So, so yeah. Pretty straightforward. Yes. And the interesting thing was, as I was driving home from Milwaukee today, I saw an eagle's nest really? as I went down. And then on my way back, I saw it again with the eagle in it. Wow. It was pretty impressive. It was very close to the road. So I got a good look of an eagle's nest. Did it make you feel patriotic or anything? No, but oh. it reminded me of the crossword. I see. Okay. <laughs> so, yes. Well, yes. Um, and it was in the treetop, for sure. Uh-huh. Well, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, yeah, so coming back to some of those clues, you talked about 24 down, the neckwear for noisy dogs. Bark collars. Bark collars. And I had this, I'm not sure where I, I've seen this. I think it was like in some um, some cartoon of a dog with, with sort of like a, a this funnel coming out of his head. Like a cone. Right. That's it's, not a bark collar. That's not a bark collar. So a bark collar is basically a collar that you wear that I guess gives you a little electric shock if you bark. Oh my. Um, I, I, I think that should be illegal or something, but you can buy them at, at Amazon. At least I think that was the basic idea. Uh -huh. So um, that was, those were bark collars. Wow. I know. It's like... Kind of a cruel way to teach dogs not to bark is that is that the only way you can do it i, I you know i'm not sure exactly maybe they just sort of could you just go Shh. So, so i haven't looked at the details of this i mean maybe that's what happens when they bark it there's a voice that comes out of it and it says shut up dog or something <laughs> like that i don't know so you have beeping vibration and shock modes <laughs> so Ooh. i guess you get to choose how cruel you want to be to your dog at some point you have to think maybe i'm being a pet owner is not for me or maybe 
Uh, you could also think dogs have the right to bark now and then. <laughs> so, maybe, yeah, but not two in the morning. I suppose not. So. Um, 21 down, the traveling fashion sale featuring the work of a specific designer, Trunk Show. I didn't know what that was. A trunk show? Yes. It's when, um, oh, say like a, a department store or a boutique, they will feature a certain designer, like Ralph Lauren. They say, okay, we're going to have a Ralph Lauren trunk show. And they, they just uh, sell their items primarily. For um, for a weekend or something in, in a trunk? How does the trunk? No, enter no, into this? they just call it a trunk show, but but uh, it's it's just where they feature one one person one designer's clothes for a sale. I see. Mm-hmm. I bet at some point those clothes were delivered by trunk because there has to be some reason for that name. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure they were at one time, but. I mean, all clothes were delivered by trunks long ago. Right. <laughs> but, and they're and they're all delivered by truck now. Maybe they should call it a truck show. Well, all clothes are delivered by truck. That's so just it, exactly. They would have to use some word to distinguish designer clothes. I mean, there might be some clothes that, you know, maybe you go to Kohl's and there's someone there actually knitting in the store. No. But that would be very, very rare, I suspect. Uh, I don't believe so. Okay. <laughs> um, let's see. Six down, in good taste, was seemly. You know, yes. you hear the word unseemly yes. all the time, but I've never, I don't think I've ever heard the word seemly. You haven't read a Jane Austen novel then. Oh, really? <laughs> I think they use the word seemly in each one. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, I may have to how start. How seemly of you. Oh, I'll <laughs> no. have to start working on that. Mm-hmm. How about 14 across, headwear for lesser royalty, coronet? Coronet, yes. I wanted it to be tiara. Me too. Because I don't usually use the word coronet. <laughs> I don't even really know what a coronet looks like. Well, I guarantee you wear it on the head. I have a vision of like a rook in chess. I think whatever the rook is wearing, I, th- I think the that's... The rook is like the top of a castle, a turret. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Bishop. Maybe it's the bishop. No, that's a miter. Maybe it's the queen. The queen is wearing a crown. Well, there's got to be someone in there wearing a coronet. <laughs> So a coronet, um, uh, first of all, I think it should be purple. Um, I, I I just have this vision of a purple sort of fluffy thing. Uh-huh. And um, let's see if I can find something here. So, oh no, our internet has slowed down. Um, let's see, coronet. What is a duchess coronet? Okay, a coronet is any crown whose bearer is less than sovereign or royal in rank. Oh, all right. Well, so it looks it looks like a crown. It looks virtually indistinguishable from one. It's got mm-hmm. sort of some nice fluffy material at the bottom. It's got a, a, a ringlet, possibly a ferrule of gold. <laughs> and, and then it's got these little puff pieces coming up off the top. Um, for those of you who missed Sunday's Crossword, check out Sunday's Crossword and check out our podcast where we discuss ad nauseum the word for rule. <laughs> and uh, we are for real when we say we are talking about for rule. That is true. Um, let's see. Uh, 25 across, the clue was by, and the answer was beside. Yeah. That took me a bit. <laughs> And I just sort of like how how the answer is much longer than the uh, than the clue. Mm-hmm. Uh, we had uh, thirty six across Led Zeppelin's whole a lot of love. Yes, lotta. Uh, right. <laughs> I know. I, I just see those words now whenever yes, I you, do, so, so go for, to do the crossword. It's so, like, oh, there's another pretend word. So fifteen down, drop blank moon. Someone is drop trow. That's right. Um. That sort of sl- is that slangy or is that just British? I think that's just British. Oh, okay. Um, and it doesn't necessarily mean moon someone. I mean, they might ask, like in a clothing store, to take your trousers off and I'll measure them for really whatever. So, usually when I'm there, they'll say, Could you please moon us? <laughs> yeah, right. No, it doesn't happen as much as you might as, well, as, as you might as you might expect. Mm-hmm. Um, 30 across, some ward workers for short, was MDs. That's right. 
So MDs has appeared 131 times in the New York Times crossword. Oh, really? And RNs has appeared 234. So the nurses are winning uh-huh. by almost a factor of two. And I bet that EMTs have appeared oh. even more because I, I think... They they are in like every other day almost. Well, okay, so EMTs plural is only eighty eight. EMT is it's thinking about it. EMT is showing one hundred seventy three. Mm-hmm. So I guess Maybe between hundred well between the one hundred seventy three and the eighty eight. Uh-huh. But of but course, it they looks the, like it's in more recent years. I suppose MDs and RNs have probably been. Uh, used a lot longer. EMTs are maybe relatively newer. Yes, I mean, the first appearance of RNs was in 1942. Oh, yeah. Registered nurses, a (laughs) bruh. They were a lot more literal in those days. Yep. But I bet the clues are actually a lot harder. (laughs) Um, They certainly wouldn't have drop trow in there, I don't think. 41 down, what's needed to make bail? And bail is spelled B-A-L-E, and the answer is hey. That's right. That was pretty amusing. Mm-hmm. And then we had 45 down, writer Hemingway was Ernest. That's correct. And I'd like to point out that on Sunday, Sunday we had Ernst, That's as in true. Ernst and Young. Yeah. So we've gone from Ernst to Ernest. Mm-hmm. Who knows what Wednesday will bring? <laughs> Ernesto. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. I guess we'll find out later. Mm-hmm. All right, well, that is it, I think, for the crossword. I think we pretty much have covered this puzzle. All right, but it is Tuesday, which means it's time for Triplet Tuesday. (laughs) So, listeners, get ready. Uh, This is that segment where one of us reads three clues in decreasing order of difficulty to the other. The object is to guess the answer, which is the same answer for all three clues, in as few guesses as possible. The yes. answer is three letters long, yep. and we're going to do this three times, hence the name Triplet Tuesday. So uh, the way to do this, if you're listening at, uh, to us as a podcast, which is unless you are outside our door, the only way you could be listening to us, um, hit pause as soon as one of us has read the clues and see if you can guess the answer before, the, uh, before our co-host does. I will be reading the clues today. Are you ready? I sure hope so. All right, here we go. Bit of a comic. Bit of a comic. Bit of a comic. Uh, Like set. Nope. Word with real or rule. Gag. Right. Nicely done. Thank you. The third was handkerchief stuffed in the mouth, (laughs) e.g. So I was hoping you'd get that one for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, let's see. I uh, giant, 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 um, giant, big. Uh, no. <laughs> Company that makes styrofoam. Dow. Right. Dow Chemical. Nice, nicely done. Why is that giant? I think I'm missing a word there. <laughs> oh, that's no fair. I, I'm sorry. I think I, I was looking at that and I was, I was asking myself the same question that you just did. Why is it giant? Um, yeah, it was supposed to be giant in chemicals. Oh. Would that have helped? Oh, definitely. <laughs> sorry. Dow Chemical. All what right. other chemical company is there? <laughs> well, fortunately, you got it in two. One. I got that one in one. <laughs> um, what was your third clue? Blank Jones Industrial Average. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Jones. yeah. If you couldn't answer that one, we wouldn't let you operate heavy machinery. <laughs> All right, listeners, we hope you're doing well. And here is our third set of clues. Abandon in slang. Abandon. Abandon in slang. Yep. Uh, like jilt. Nope. Stiff. Nope. No, those are not. Three those are not words. three letters. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, should we move on then? Yes. Load for Santa Claus. Bag. Right. Bag is abandoned. I've never heard that. Me neither. <laughs> it, <laughs> actually, it, it turns out the correct clue is abandon a giant chemical. <laughs> 
right. No, no, it was just, it literally just did say abandon in slang. Bag. Hmm. You know, when you, when you bag someone, I think of, the, of, of that as kidnapping. Yes, me too. I don't know. Or, hey. you know, like you bag a deer. When, you know, like if you go out hunting, they'll right. say, you know, you bag an animal. But what was the third clip? Uh, paper or plastic item. <laughs> okay. All you right. Well, could have gotten that one. Nicely done. You did each in two, maybe the one. second in one and a half. One. Come on. You had some of the clue. <laughs> Giant Dow. That could be a variation on Triplet Tuesday. We don't read the entire clue to you. <laughs> We just read, maybe we just read, because it's Triplet Tuesday, every third word, <laughs> and see if you can figure it out. That would be sort of the, um, for the expert, the expert edition. They don't, we don't read the whole clue. Definitely. So let's see how it sounds like word real rule, <laughs> or handkerchief in mouth. Actually, that worked pretty well. Um, company makes, yeah, that's how that ends, and load Santa. <laughs> Yeah, it's tough when you read every third word. Uh-huh. Um, actually, all right. Well, anyways, enough counting of words here. I think so. Uh, yes, that is it for today then. So thanks, everyone, for listening. We hope you did well on Triplet Tuesday. Let us know how you did. Crossword podcast at iCloud.com. You can use that same email address, or you can also click on the fa- a fan mail link, which you should see somewhere around the show notes for this podcast. And uh, just give us some feedback. We love feedback. And that's it for today. Yep. We'll be back again with our cutting-edge analysis of tomorrow's crossword tomorrow. Bye-bye.